Hello, I just thought I would uh, share a mini album that I created for my great nephew. It's uh, a school mini album. He's going into kindergarten in the fall. So I prepared him a book so that he can uh, use it from kindergarten through to grade 12. I used a lot of the uh, digital papers from Nitwit Collection, the Live and Learn, the uh, Boys Will Be Boys, or I think or maybe it was Little Men. And the other one was Giddy Up. So those are a few of them. I think there might have been a few pages from Family Ties as well. Anyways, um, as you can see on the outside of this, the front of the uh, album, there are a few images. Some of them I picked up from Pinterest and other internet sites. Other ones I picked up from uh, Silhouette. This is where I layered uh, his name and uh, memories. And those are uh, from the Silhouette Studios. I used a closure that I had in my stash and an elastic closure. Um, I wanted to use some vinyl on the side, but uh, when I was talking to somebody at our local craft store, they said that vinyl didn't hold the impression, but another woman suggested that I could use uh, duct tape and use uh, cardstock and put the duct tape on it. The only disadvantage is that with duct tape it uh, leaves seams, but it did do a good job of the embossing. And I'll show you the back. So what I did for the seams is I used the additional, um, some of the additional ribbon that I had in my stash. And the back is just plain simple, the digital paper. So we'll start with the uh, first page, which is the kindergarten um, one. The format of the album is the same all the way through. Uh, each has a front pocket. And this one is Welcome to Kindergarten, a lot of uh, digital papers and images are from Knitwick Collections. Um, I have a photo mat. This one here, I did a double uh, layer of the uh, bow so that you can slip a picture in underneath of it. And uh, digital paper on the other um, photo mat. And we start with, um, pardon me, grade one. And again, I used uh, digital papers. This one here, I combined the image from one of my silhouettes with the digital paper before I printed it. And then once I printed it, I had the silhouette cut it out. I also included one of the tags uh, from the Live and Learn uh, the Knitwit collection. I also used some of the uh, uh, corners to be able to slide the uh, photo in behind. And again, here on this one as well. So that was for grade one. Each of the pages has a pullout uh, mat, full size, so you can get a good size picture or a number of pictures on that. And then we go on to second grade. Second grade has, uh, again, images from uh, the Knitwood Collections plus silhouette uh, background paper, plus I had a kite that was in one of the uh, network collections and oh, I should show you the mats there's just one of the simple ones here this one here is from the giddy up the, um, and again I left it open so you could slide something in behind it so that's grade two and then we'll go on to grade three grade three again is um, uh, has the pocket and some of the images from Network Collections. Again, some mats and a uh, tag. This one was, I think, from Little Men. And uh, again, this one here, I used acetate to um, create a, a slot for pictures. And it keeps, protects the picture. And again, the pull out with the digital collection on it. And we're into grade four. Uh, again, pocket with places for photo mats, uh, journaling cards, an image of a globe that you can tuck pictures in behind. Grade five, getting a little bit more mature. It's got uh, boys will be boys. Again, a pocket and uh, rough and tumble, wild thing. Uh, only one mat here, but I've got, uh, again, the acetate on that. And you can slip your picture inside to protect it. And again, the pull-out um, mats for uh, digital, from the digital paper collection. Um, this one, again, a little more mature, grade six. He's got a backpack, an apple, um, a more mature-themed uh, photo mat. This one here, I did a double layer. You can see in behind 
there's a, the image and then I, I uh, did a, another one and had it cut out on my silhouette and again this is from the Giddy Up collection and uh, this one I think was the family and family ties the little dog that goes along with that one and then we have grade 7 bicycle and again I uh, combined the two images with the ruler and the digital paper put on a um, the bicycle is raised up um, simple photo mat with a digital paper on it um, this one here is from the giddy up uh, collection and a journaling card that I got through I think silhouette as well um, again the digital papers on that one grade eight uh, a little more studious he's got a little bookworm in his math science and history books and again uh, just a couple of uh, mats uh, simple digital papers uh, and lots of room for photos and you can slip them in the pockets in a journaling card and then we're on to grade nine again i attached through my uh, silhouette program and the digital papers it's got this dog and his cat his skateboard and again a simple um, photo mat a couple of journaling cards and uh, a couple of enamel dots in the corner again the photo i'll get a little more mature paper this is jeans and uh, bandana and jeans on the back that again is from the i think it's giddy up collection of knitwit collections on this page here one of my favorites grade 10 it uh, actually has the jean paper in behind and the plaid shirt and again I put a pocket with the belt and the plaid paper or the denim paper on it and again a simple photo mat and another one of those small cards with the belly band on it grade 11 we have again a little more mature it has a girl in it and this time and uh, couple of photo mats from the digital papers again and again the, the belly band so that you can slip your little images in there and another photo large photo mat with digital papers on it and last grade 12 we have uh, again a calculator some math and some and a globe that's been glued on simple mat and a journaling sheet and the last one is the congratulations to the grads the graduate a uh, simple um, photo mat some enamel dots and journaling card and attached the graduation hat plus a little statement here it says i hope your dreams take you to the corners of your smile to the highest of your hopes the windows of your opportunities and to the most special places your heart has ever known and that's the back side back cover of the album and i hope if you enjoyed this album you'll give it a thumbs up and i'll see you in the next video thanks